I'm like, you know what? Jiro's pretty cool. <laughs> just gonna hop in on that now. So here we go as we get into our first game. Got the Jiro, got the Asuri. Asuri, another popular pick here just throughout the well, every region pretty much. But yeah. Understandably so with the Katars being such a better weapon right now and her having two dunks. Like, I mean, I, I know that's gotta feel good. Yeah, those dunks can be super satisfying, of course. And, and if you're going to play a Katari character, most people are going to lean into that. And Suri burns the spot dodge for the GC downlight, expecting Elsom to play aggressive on that one. He tries to go in after to punish it, but didn't get too much off of it. Yeah. All right. Nice little weapon toss to go ahead and get back to the stage now. That's the one good thing. I think this is the one uh, real good thing about solos in Scythe is that this is where this, character, this weapon can definitely uh, shine. You know, get the right read. You can carry someone all the way to the blast zone. He's looking. He's definitely looking for a lot of these down airs and neutral airs, but none of them really finding the mark just yet. Nice job sticking on the wall there, expecting the dunk down from right gun does. There's the weapon spawn on the right side. Both of them are going to be looking for that recovery for the knockout. This is small brawl haven. So Nair could actually do it just because of that uh, closer kill boxes. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> all right. Ends him out of there. That was... That was e either he is insane or he's brilliant because if Raigundas didn't land on the stage, Elsom was gonna die. Oh, like for that sure. ground pound would have won, but Elsom was like, "Nah, I got this." Okay, a little a quick side stake right there on the gravity cancel off the side of the edge, and that was just just I feel like it was just enough power. It seemed like he was just uh past that blast zone, so good stuff. But unfortunately, now we got an unarmed scrap here for Jiro. But hold on, man, maybe it was unfortunate for. Oh, for the Asuri, but uh, got a little bit of turnaround. Elsom, you good? Still touching. He's got the wall. He's living on this Jiro. And, I mean, look at the damage in the top right. I think Elsom's got the lead despite all the insane unarmed fight with Raygun does. Yeah. I mean, he's doing a really good job of getting past that. That was a great uh, way to get past in the down. Oh. I think I think he, she did, uh, or, uh, he did touch the wall, but unfortunately, uh, too strong of a hit off that down air to matter. And I like the choice of down air, kind of just a safer option. Because uh, like you said, Raigundas did have the uh, ability to touch that wall, so it wasn't a complete checkmate for the ground pound. Right. So Raigundas now trying to figure out a way to get this stock off of Elsom. Kind of throwing out uh, some pretty risky options there. That gravity cancel over the edge. Uh, didn't get punished, nice, but oh nice. my. Uh, should be able to make Burned it back, a lot. Yeah. Oh, Jukes. All right, what are we doing here? It gets sent back up. I was like, all right, this, this seems like this is going to be a, a reverse edge guard for sure for Elsom. Got all the way over, uh, got the full combo there onto Raigundas, but couldn't finish it off and still managed to touch the wall. Whoa! What a chase from Raigundas, and Elson was ready for it. They're just, they're literally like magnetized to each other. They are constantly chase dodging and chain dodging to just stay on top of each other, but Elson still with that damage lead, this is very doable for him. Yeah. Most definitely, though, they are definitely like stuck onto each other, and Elson now getting that, uh, that little. Good dodge. A little throw backwards. Hold on. Still touching Raigundas. Outside. Ooh, the recovery. Actually going to drop on that wall there. Raigundas thinking the lucky stars, but a D-Light recovery, and Elsom takes game number one. Yeah, man. Raigundas poked his head one time and got po and got uh, punished for that one. Good stuff to Elsom. Great reaction. So you can get that punish. And send Raigundas uh, packing on that first game. The Jiro looking pretty smooth. Uh, saw some really good uh, you know, scythe combos as well. Wasn't able to finish that like really long one to the left, but regardless, that was a lot of damage added up, even if you didn't get the stock. It looks like Elsom uh, loving the scythe, not so much the sword as uh, he's gonna make the swap over to the fate for game number two. It's always interesting when somebody swaps on win. That's just like a, I can win better play. Yeah, for sure. It's like, you know what, man? Honestly, I don't really see too much usage for that sword, so here I am swapping over to something else. Here we go. Same map picks for Elsom and Raigunda's game number two. Of course, no swaps on Raigunda's side. And uh, we'll likely be trying to change up that play style a little bit. We saw once where he did like a reverse D-Sig. I think if he had just gone straight with it, could have gotten the knockout. But either way, it's Elsom with the side. Okay. Nice. Let's see how the side is playing out, man. Playing in a uh, nice little spacing game so far. The one thing, a good thing I do like about this, though, is that the, um, the SIGs for Fate are very much more like exact teller not or you know doing exactly what they need to do you got the shotgun you got the shotgun rifle you know you got uh 
Got the, the warp, which I don't really see too many people use, but you know, if you want to get a little yeah. cheeky Ooh. with it. Oh, it doesn't really matter though. That was gonna be that was a nice little uh play right there. Nice little edge guard with the weapon toss to boot. <laughs> and also on the respawn, already going in onto right gun does. But yeah, like you were saying, uh Fate Scythe Six, very nice. I think that's one thing that when Fate got added, a lot of the Scythe mains out there were talking about is how like she finally has SIGs that are good on the Scythe, whereas like a lot of times, uh, not so much, but right on us with another side SIG. And uh, Elsom down to the final stock might be uh, rethinking this swap to Fate. Yeah, this is this Fate swap not looking the greatest right now, which is interesting because I do feel like he got a lot done on his uh, Scythe uh, when he was playing Jiro. Oh, Yo. my. Oh, my. Oh. You're done. It's You're gone. done. Three stock for Rygundas in game number two. Thanking Elsim for making the swap to Fate and just letting him run all over him with that one. Yeah, that was okay, man. That was that was just like an Asuri 101 class right there. Like once you once you get someone to panic, it's time to throw that neutral stick out because you're most likely gonna hit it. Ah, oh, man, that was beautiful. Yeah, that was a uh, a master class on the uh, Asuri edge guard. And uh, Elsom was in the, the map banning stage and then just completely rethung all that and is actually trying to decide what legend to pick now. Yeah, that was a that was a big rip, dude. And I, I mean like it seemed <laughs> like he was actually right there for the uh the ledge touch too, or, or the wall touch, but fortunately but just a little lower than he needed to be. And look at that man, just the damage dealt damage taken, such a spread here. And I'm hoping that I'm thinking we're gonna swap off this uh swap off this fate. That <laughs> that was not it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look at that time survived per stock. 27 versus 82. All uh, all of those three stocks were during that 82 of Raigundas. But it's Elsom on the swap over to the Knicks for game number three. Sticking with Scythe Legends. This one will have a little bit more defense than the Fate will. But I don't know if defense was necessarily the uh, pitfall there for him. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it doesn't matter how many times you got hit there. Like, you were... Even if you were on a higher defense legend and you were able to make that back to the ledge, you would have just got ground bounded for sure. So uh, I I do like the I do like uh, Nyx though. He does have some pretty good um, six well as well as having the, uh, the the gauntlets or not the gauntlets the uh, blasters as your secondary weapon. Could try to go around spacing out uh, one of the guitars, but also maybe be able to space out the swords if you do it correctly. Uh, right now though, the start not looking too great. Interesting up toss from Raigunda. So far, uh, pretty even on both sides, uh, which is, I guess, good for Elsom as he gets the dare into ground pound, one of the few true combos of the Scythe. And Elsom looking a lot better on this Nyx. Okay. So that, that's a, that's whenever you get that off the wall splat, you basically, that's a, that's a true combo? Yeah, they're still in hit stun when you bounce them off that wall. Nice. And so you can go into that ground pound. You have to, like, fade back for the ground pound, though. All right. Well, he definitely did that, man. Uh, good stuff. We keep it moving into this third game. Oh Punish. no, Raigunda is actually now playing a little too confident. I know, I know, I know you bodied him in that last game, but <laughs> it could have just been the fate. Now we're gonna see what Elson's got with the blasters. Almost connects with the end. It goes for it twice, a little too uh, Nick's brain there for Elson, but Raigunda's gets the falling neutral air. Still needs to get this stock off of Elson in order to keep himself alive in this game number three. Hey, weapon toss, and it looks like Elson was trying to trick him up or looking at that weapon with a little diversion tactic so he can get that ground pound, but not going to find it. Down stick, not going to find the mark either. Okay. Get back to get back to stage here. Nice little side air. Both of them actually still throwing out side airs and still can't get the KO yet, mostly because of that wall, uh, the bounce off the stage, but finds it right there with the down air, and now... Uh, you know, got him on even stocks, but that is a lot of damage here already on right gun. Jesus, just pulls... No, pulls no punches, I'll tell you that. Immediate <laughs> side heavy. Uh, almost the exact opposite. Basically pushing punches yeah. uh, from Elsom. And uh, now he's looking for that gimp. Still hasn't gotten a gimp on Raigundas. So, you know, a little uh, feather in the cap of Raigundas, I guess. Okay. Down here, not going to find the mark. Nice. Okay, that's Nice. All right. Almost got that turnaround there with the uh, down the down light uh, gravity cancel, but what well, didn't get low enough. And honestly, these gravity cancels that he's doing are good ideas. Just the spacing is a little off. He's trying it again. And now you're now you're showing your hand a little too much. That was the third time you've done the same thing. 
I mean, he's going for a different option off of the dribble, right? He's getting the downlight dare, but yeah. he's just not finding that follow-up, and Elsim is constantly punishing him for it. Can get this knockout? I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted that to hit so bad. Because I, know, I was he's like, he's doing something crazy. He's, he's holding the weapon toss. Uh, and then I guess he forgot that you can't jump when you're holding a weapon toss. Oh, oh that's oh. funny. Don't let this game escape <laughs> you because of this now. Yeah. That's that's the little bit of confidence someone needs. Just to say that they got you the last stock, and he's not letting it escape him, though. Great uh, use of the side light or the side light uh, input forward. There we go. Game three, uh, almost slipping away from Elsom, like you were saying. Like, that was... Uh, Starting to get a little sloppy there, but still Elsom was able to close it out, and now Raikun does uh, going into game number four, sticking with the Asuri, hoping Elsom swaps to another Scythe Legend that just, I, I guess, loses in the offstage. Yeah, that, I mean, he went for, like, the 362. Like, he was spinning back and forth. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, this is this got to be something for sure. <laughs> I was like, wall. okay, is he going to cut off the movement to the wall? Like, where, where is he going with this? Uh, he's going into the depths with that weapon toss. Oh, man. That's funny. All right. So where are we going for this last potential last game if Elsom can go ahead and close it out right here? The more, He is playing. He is trying to figure out what Scythe Legend he likes right now. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, I know I like Scythe, uh, but he's, but what he's else? running out of Scythe options. There's a, what, a Volkov? What else is there? Uh... Well, he, did he use – no, that's not Dusk. I'm thinking of someone else. Now, it might, he might be down to the last one. Let me go ahead and look. Let me brawl it up real quick. <laughs> Brawlhaul.com slash legends. Um, but game number four, no surprise to see him on small Brawl Haven. Elsom versus Right Gun does. Has the gauntlets. Should do well in these offstage engagements because gauntlets, of course, uh, historically strong in the edge guard. But Right Gun does with the Katars. Okay, so he has, he has a Mirage left and uh, okay. Artemis. Okay. He's got and, a couple of options. And, and Volkov. So he's got three yeah, options yeah. left. Um, I I feel like out of those three, I'd probably expect the Mirage before everybody else. Mirage is a pretty common pick, and she has some really good and fast sigs. But that's if he, if he even has to do that. Oh, no! oh you're nasty. That you was extra. That oh. was extra. Oh, that's God. No, he's, he's so nice. He's so nice. <laughs> yeah. And that's what this, that's what this off weapon, too, because, you know, obviously he's been lean, leaning hard into this scythe. So he's been swapping up the second weapon every time, and he has made it work with that gauntlet so smooth. Yeah, that was uh, that was looking real good for Elsom. That the, the dunk down, right? The GC down heavy. I was like, all right, he's done. He's got the stock, but then he goes extra with the side air. Right, Gunda's actually going to clean that one up, keeping this one even. But just, I guess, the offstage threat of Elsom is going to be pretty big here. Okay. Nice. Right, he's back onto the stage, and now he's got the gauntlets on deck. All right. Honestly, he ha he kind of had that read. I think he moved inches a little too far forward, but he knew that was uh there was some type of option that he was gonna be able to punish with that side up. Oh, oh my god. god. Up. Okay. Okay. Dodged. I mean that that's better better option to go up. Honestly, he was closer to the top, so that makes sense. Yeah. Recovery was smart. Oh, nice snare. Okay, gonna stop the active frames of that down heavy. But Raigunda's still very much on the back foot here. Nice weapon toss. Looking for the option there, but Raigunda is able to avoid the positioning. Still the downlight, going to get the knockout, and Elsom looking to run away with this one, 3-1. Yeah. Now, I see, it, it seems as though he definitely drifted a little too far away when he was going for that side air, but still found the downlight input forward, kicked him out of that game. And now a pretty, uh, pretty good lead developing, not to say that he can't end up taking like a, a nice guitar string uh, or a guitar like air dodge read string and be out of here. But... Still, you got to find it right now. He's fighting his way in here. The bounce going to keep that from going too far. Okay, neutral light will stuff the recovery. Still, Elsom has the movement. The stair is going to help, but the dare will finally finish off the stock. Last stock's here for game number four. Raigundas needs this to take this to game five. Yeah. All right. Time to look for that, uh, that down light yet again. I'm just get back on stage. Can't get that second, that uh, the third piece of that combo that combo that he was looking for. A little overzealous right there with the neutral fig. Oh, wait a minute nice. though. Oh, what was that weapon toss? Disarms himself. Still picks up a sword though. All right, this game is pretty much even. Oh, oh. he's okay, still dark, yeah. but 
Elsom with the D-Light ground pound will take it out. Game number four goes away of Elsom, 3-1. And the right Gundas is out of there. Just the uh, pool of Scythe characters from Elsom is too strong. Man, at right as I was about to say this game is looking a little even, he he managed to find that first uh, ground pound in the Ascendant pack. And there's that first combo, man. It was beautiful. That was just a ni that was a nice way to, to set it up, you know? Yeah. That was, that was a really nice start for uh, Elsom in uh, in game number four. But there you see it at the bottom. Elsom uh, wins it out over right gun does. Uh, Doggo and Goddess are actually fighting it out on the other side of the loser's quarterfinal. Uh, so the winner of that matchup will go on to fight Elsom. And then, of course, the winner of that will go on to fight Kyler Alice. Dummy sitting in the grand finals. Yeah, man, Dummy, I know he's going to be sitting there for quite some time. We'll just sit here watching the action, making sure he can capitalize on any mistakes that he may be seeing from these competitors right now. Doggone God is going 1 1 right now, though. So good stuff for uh, Goddess. Because, you know, like, I, I I would think, like, off of, you know, just thinking about that match, you're going to think that Goddess or Doggo is going to win. You know, he's been in this up in these uh, high ranks and these high situations for a bit. Goddess uh, also probably been up here a couple times, too, but relatively new name to me. Um, and she seems like she's trying to make herself make herself known for sure for, to more people if she can continue her streak in this uh, tournament. Yeah, I feel like Goddess has had, like, a pop here and there. I, I do believe she's won a tournament, but still, like, kind of started drifting away at the tail end of 2020 and then uh, is now starting to try to come back into this in uh, 2021. But there you see in the, uh, the score between Elsom and Raigun does that kind of tail end. Both of them surviving uh, 60, I believe that's seconds uh, per stock. Yeah, I would, I would assume such. But, yeah, uh, I mean, very even.